Boss. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, hi, Banks. Banks is here. Heck yeah. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to the Kilted Balls podcast. I'm shooting from my secondary location again, and I got a new bed, and look, it does this. That is super <laughs> awesome. Or I can be like, I just thought that'd be fun to record this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the idea is to keep doing it the whole time, like while you're talking. <laughs> like while I'm talking, just keep moving it back uh-huh. and forth. <laughs> I could for sure. So yeah, we got this uh on Black Friday. It said it'd come in like three to five days. And I think we got the frame a week ago. Perfect. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't seem like three to five days. So you've had a little bit of time sleeping on it. How are you enjoying it? Yeah, so like a bed's a bed. So <laughs> okay. That's what I kind of like too. Like I'm just gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I just go to sleep. So like I, I don't know. My back was hurting a little bit before we got in. It doesn't now, but that could also be from how active I am. So yeah. I'm like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Was, but I, mm-hmm. I go to sleep. Yeah. Okay. What made you decide to clean shave? Um, I got a uh, electric razor for Christmas. Oh, awesome. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to try this. I can't decide if I like it or not. So is it the kind with goop in it? Remember those commercials? Oh, it's um, got goo. You can it use it with wet it. and stuff, but it does not come with goo inside of it. So, okay. you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, I don't know if any listeners are secretly doing the 36 step challenge. But I was this close to hitting step seven. This close. That's awesome. But then now I have like a short that's about to, like it's super close <laughs> to liquidating. And that <laughs> will keep me in step six for a little <laughs> while longer. <laughs> so, you we know. To get back up there. I had a couple. I, I had forgotten that we had talked about 5% great. I had a... Uh, I forget if it was a long or a short open and I hit 6% and I was like, okay, cool. So I adjusted my, my stop loss to where I was mm-hmm. making a little bit, but I didn't close it. And I just forgot. I, I was like, okay, 10, 15, we'll see where it goes. Yeah. So I ended up closing at like one and a half percent. Wasn't a loss though. No. And then well, right after I noticed it closed, I was like, oh shoot. Why don't I just take the 6%? Right. Lot. All right. Well, that's, that's kind of what I've been doing is just like as soon as it gets above five, and then I start setting my stop losses, hopefully around five, mm-hmm. then just figuring, okay, I'll make five. And if I make more grade and if I make five, then, you know, like we talked about that one time, you only have to do that a few times and you hit your, you hit your 30. Yeah. Well, so we did I'm pick like, up a, a few other fun, uh, fun things to flip at the, uh, you know, we stayed in Florida for a couple of days before the cruise and went to the, yeah but to the uh, Goodwill. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, and the other thing is, is I was thinking today, I'm going to take, you know, a couple dollars and I'll buy a lot of ticket and that could jump me through the steps. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like if you take the Mark cash option, down. it's like 380 million. So. Oh, is it that high right now? That's for the cash option. If you like took it over 30 years, it's like 680 or something. Really Nice. I don't so have that's... any electronic money in that account anymore. <laughs> I'll have to, when I get gas tomorrow, I'll have to run inside. Oh, I think I think I'm gonna win it tonight. So you oh, might just okay, cool. Wait, so all right, I'll, yeah. I'll keep an eye out for that. I'll look for the text. And everybody who's a listener, you guys get a million dollars if I win. So nice. <laughs> oh good. So what if I'm a co-host and a listener? <laughs> uh you get five hundred thousand. Oh, good. <laughs> you don't want to have too many rolls. No, you don't want too many rolls. That'd just be wrong. <laughs> That'd just be wrong. So, <laughs> yeah, and then so everybody's the going to be all work. mad when I send them like a hundred or mm-hmm. ten hundred grand bars. <laughs> There's your million. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Don't eat it all at one meal. So, did you get? Uh, did you get the your newest NFT for Cal? Um, I have not looked at my wallet in days. I did. I sent one today, a uh, late, late Christmas present, but oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go look. Uh, 
I'm kind of excited. Hopefully, it turns out better than the than the robots that I sent him for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sometimes that happens. Sometimes the uh, I was still what? Were I were you drinking the Kool Aid? Yeah, yeah, that does happen sometimes. I was thinking about my pizza bot today, and how like mm-hmm. Seth Green's like MIA. <laughs> yeah, I'm like that son of a gun. Uh, some of that stuff I think will turn like some of those weird ones that kind of happen in the middle. I mean, obviously I'm I'm all in, but we'll yeah. uh, we'll have to see. It'll be interesting. It will something be something I was just looking at. I was like, oh wow, the floor for this is like 1.8 or no 0.18. I'm sorry, not 1.8. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, I was man. like, okay, that's sweet. Yeah, well, and some of them are still worth a lot. So yeah. Yeah, you know, and it's almost like we said that all of them were going to go to zero, like ninety nine point nine percent, and now mm-hmm. like they're all going to zero. <laughs> like, I oops. just didn't take my own advice. I was excited mm-hmm. and I bought more. We are really, really good about not taking our own advice. Like today, I was mm-hmm. like, I hate shorts. I hate shorts. I don't like shorts. And then five minutes ago, I opened a short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to follow your own advice. And, you know, a lot of people start thinking about things they would change as they go into the new year, which is, you know, a few days away. Mm-hmm. And uh, that doesn't tend to be us because we do stuff all the time. But mm-hmm. maybe I should, like, take my own advice. Maybe that should be one of my rules. <laughs> yeah. Did you um, Did you happen to watch the, the new for the no. 2023 video? So- no, I was going to. Is it awesome? Some of those things I took to heart. Did you listen to the 2022 one that I sent you a couple weeks ago? Yes. Okay. Okay. So and it, 2023. there's some of that and the ads on. You just said you didn't listen to the 2023. I didn't listen to 2024. Oh, oh okay. I, I messed that up then. But anyways, he adds on to it. And some of the things he says, I'm, I'm kind of excited about. Just like habits or things that we're talking about Jesse Itzler. And mm-hmm. he was talking about for the new year, some things he likes to do, like he likes to have, like clean off his desk. He actually says he goes through and he deletes all of his old emails, like just so he starts out with a clean inbox for the year, like stuff like, like that. Uh, I, like, I think hmm. in one email account, I have 16,000 unread emails. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, think of that clutter clearing. He, yeah. he likes to clean his closet. He likes to have a clean closet for the new year. So those are just some fun things that I'm like, interesting. So yeah. I'm shooting to have a clean desk. I would really like to. My desk is super messy. Both I don't here think and that's a horrible idea. And a clean then, desk well, is good. <laughs> yeah. I, I keep my emails pretty under control anyways. Like I randomly yeah. go through and just delete. But, and I, I have everything checked. But I can't I, really uh, get checked. <clears throat> my like super professional email, I try to keep my inbox low. <laughs> <laughs> like try to keep it under 50 unread messages <laughs> at a mm-hmm. time. <laughs> but I would love I would love to hear from any listeners if they have any fun things that they do to start the new year or like little habits or tricks that they do for themselves. So I was just thinking about this, I don't know, a half hour ago. I'm like, ooh, it's almost the new year. And you know this, that I've done this forever. And it's still, I don't know why I do this, but I was listening to one of my girls telling a story about wrestling practice today. And she five-starred a guy who was like sitting there <laughs> and I thought she was going to die. But <laughs> For those of you who don't know, know five-star, that's when you go up behind somebody, especially if they don't have a shirt on, and you smack them like this, uh, and you leave a handprint on their back, <laughs> and we call it a five-star. <laughs> and awesome. you, know, you know the pain you feel with something like that right in the middle of your back? Like, yeah. And so, like, you could hear that throughout the wrestling room. And, like, I was sitting there thinking about it. I'm like, what is it about intense non-injury discomfort <laughs> that we <laughs> think is hilarious because <laughs> there's never been a time where i haven't thought that was funny like not funny mm-hmm. so but then it reminded me i'm like oh yeah it's almost the end of the year because at the end of the year i always watch all the fails 
<laughs> oh yeah, the epic fails. <laughs> it was such all the epic fails from like 2023. <laughs> and just like watching people like trip and fall. And I'm like, I don't know why some that gives those, me some pleasure. Of those people are really hurt though. <laughs> some of those people might be really hurt, but in my mind, I said they're fine. So yeah, fine. There's... See, I, I, I can't picture like the feeling of all five, but if you take these away. I'm used to like about the head size right in the middle of my bag. <laughs> if you guys don't know, if you take a racquetball and you flatten it out, it gets, gets about that big. It gets all that big, kind of like a mushroom it's stand. really fast. Yeah. <laughs> I've had lots of, lots of the racquetballs to the back. And it's all I was about to say I've had a lot of mushroom stands. <laughs> no, I, had to, I, I had to say that like that, make you think you're excited. <laughs> I was excited. It makes me wonder. I, I talked to one of my daughters about playing racquetball. Like over a break last year, and I never did. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe over this break, we should. So that'd be I kind of fun. A little bit, but the last time I played, I got smoked really bad. The guy was By super who? good. A guy that I used to work with when I sold mortgages. I was like, that doesn't He's sound this, like me. He was this little fast guy. He was super fast, and he always <laughs> hit it to the corner. Oh, Where man. Went, and like rolled out. <laughs> that doesn't even sound like he tried to hit you. No, he didn't try to hit me <laughs> once. That's why I was so good. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> Man, who th who knew? So uh, the holidays up here were weird. It was like fifty-seven degrees. I saw. That's awesome. Yeah. It's still forty mm -hmm. degrees. That's like mm -hmm. not a Michigan winter. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, it's been it's been like rainy in fifties here. It's been crappy. Like you don't even want to look outside. It reminds Is it me getting of, like, dark Michigan. like super early too? Oh yeah, of course it gets dark soon. Because we're we're earlier than you. Yeah. So like today was like dark at four. I'm like, this sucks. It was like dark all day. <laughs> Dang it. Like, oh my gosh. I guess I I was gonna say I didn't even go outside today, but I had to go get some sausage this morning for breakfast. So I who's who's outside. did you get? <laughs> well, the kind that I wanted was not in. I I've fallen in love. There's a local around here, it's called Mies. Okay. E E S E, and their sausage is amazing. I was leery at first because it comes in wax paper. It's like oh. a square. It's in wax paper, and the wax paper is kind of like just glued. And I'm like, no way. But Gina likes her liver mush, so I just decided <laughs> to get to get it one time. It's super good. Like I don't even look at Jimmy Dean anymore. Really? Yeah. Well, yesterday we made shit on the shingle. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Poop on a toast <laughs> <laughs> and uh the girls wouldn't really eat it like we made it and froze it so that we could take it to like the buyer's christmas but we yeah. had a ton and so we were like just munching on it and the girls wouldn't like munch on it <laughs> what did you use for it did you use the the uh the beef chips no so you put in your gravy no so not chipped beef on toast. This is shit on a shingle. And so it's the easiest recipe ever. I didn't know how easy it was, or I probably would have made it before. And you might want to cut this down, listeners, if you're listening to this, because this is made way too much. Well, there's uh, so many different recipes, but I'd love to hear yours. A pound of burger, mm -hmm. a pound of sausage, and we got spicy, and it's not really spicy. So we got mm -hmm. like the hottest sausage Jimmy Dean had and it's uh fine like it yeah isn't spicy at all and then a thing of Velveeta, and then we put garlic powder in it oh wow and then we put it on pumpernickel from from the jewish section at meyer oh there's a jewish section at meyer yeah it's well somebody told me that's called the ethnic aisle so i guess oh, the okay. ethnic aisle okay but, yeah they have ethnic aisles here too yeah, it was like a brick, and it was like sliced right, but it wasn't like, mm -hmm. it was like pieces like this big. And so mm -hmm. we like cut it into like little bite-sized squares. That's so awesome. So like we cut it in half and then cut it in fours, I think. So, but it used two of the bricks, and mm -hmm. then I used some pumpernickel rye toast, and then we still had some left over. So mm -hmm. it made a lot. <laughs> it the I know, I'm, sad, I'm sad to not be there this year, but... Buyer's yeah. Christmas is a thing. Buyer's Christmas yeah. is a thing. Uh, Gina went to the doctor again today, so hopefully we can get over all this stuff soon. Yeah, it's been going around like 
people all up here are super sick but mm-hmm. not like we had it right before christmas so i think my house is pretty much good yeah i, hope. I remember you saying that knock on wood i can't reach so the bad yeah, part about it, this adjustable bed mm-hmm. is i can't like reach my bedside table or uh <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of rough yeah exciting part about the end of my trip my uh debit card got compromised so oh. it shut down and thankfully because it's christmas time and you know nothing was open i couldn't just go in and get another one so they're like it'll be five to seven days i'm like okay sweet <laughs> but they didn't, it's a debit card and they didn't drain your account no it was two charges so it was kind of weird. Well, I, I think it's because of all the crypto. I'm super leery of anything. Mm-hmm. So I got it. I got a text on my phone. It said it was from Truist. It said, is this charge yours? And I looked at it. it didn't look familiar. I looked up the company. It was like a travel place in Mexico. So I was like, oh, okay. Maybe it got, you know, something could happen in Mexico. So I clicked no. And it said, call. And I got another text that called this number. And I was like, that's kind of weird because honestly, this has never happened to me. I've yeah. never had my, like any card compromised. So I was like, that seems weird. Like if I call them like, oh, give me all your information. Yeah. So exactly. I, so I looked up that number, like on reverse lookup and it said, oh no, I went to my bank account first and I didn't see that charge on my bank account. Like all nice. the charges I saw were my charges. So I was like, okay, it's a scam. So I looked up the number and uh, most of the people said it was a scam. Some people said it's the truest number, whatever. So I was like, okay, I'm not calling, whatever. So then um, that would have been for, that would have been Saturday, Saturday morning. And so we're out, we're out shopping, picking up some last minute things. I'm trying to use my card, and I'm like, that's weird. It's not working. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if that was real. So then I called the actual customer service and they're like, yeah, that's us, you know, and they had two other charges that weren't showing up that weren't me. So they, they turned it off on their end and, you know, long story short though, I don't have a debit card. But they canceled the charges. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, uh, I have a credit card that has like an annual fee, which I never thought I would do that because I'm like, I can get a credit card for free. Why have an annual fee? Mm -hmm. But um, one of the things I really like about this one is there's been two or three times that card's been compromised and it'll have like, you know, anywhere from like five to 10 charges. Seems like every time I go to Ford Field, it'll get hacked. Okay. (laughs) But uh, they like, they all show up and I like call them up and say, Hey, these five charges are not me. And they're like, okay, we'll send you a new card. And we erased all those charges. I'm like, yeah, sweet. That's I'm like, awesome. no hassle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who's so, that through? He can give a shout out. Chase. Chase. Okay. Yeah. It's my chase. My, I use my chase for my Southwest points, but I, I try not to use it. So nice. I haven't been my, uh, since I flew with everybody the one time. My short that I opened at the beginning of this episode is down negative ten percent. So awesome! What X made, did you made do? A wrong call, huh? What X just a three X? Just a three X. Okay. I've been trying to go just low, but it's uh, what is it? BSV, and it was like super high, and I'm like, there is no reason for this to be so high. I'm like, it's yeah. gonna tank, and so I bought it thinking it would tank, and it has not tanked. So. But it's only been like. 20 minutes so it's probably a little early yeah it's tank yeah you so. just start sweating yet no no sometimes you sometimes when you're playing shorts or longs you know they go the opposite direction first so mm-hmm. like it's not done going up or it's not done going down because everybody's looking at the same those same things that you're looking at oh um, right right i just i just lost a bunch of my stuff is it just for this one nope Oh, I know what happened. The the boys were messing around earlier. Oh, I'm like, mm-hmm. what? What did you lose? So no, that's my cool. so for my uh when I look at my chart, mm-hmm. like nothing, nothing is up because I think someone ran up and thought it would be hilarious to like touch everything. Like mm. sometimes I have random mouse clicks when I'm walking by. Oh so like I couldn't see my MACD, I couldn't see my RSI. 
stochastics, anything like that. That's sad. That's Mine are all messed up, but they changed them. And that's why mine's messed up. I just haven't fixed them. Um, so yeah. did you get anything good for Christmas? Everybody, I hope you had great holidays, by the way. Listeners, I did. I hope, it was yes, awesome. I hope everyone had awesome holidays. I did. I got a great pair of boots. We were talking about it. And um, nice. Yeah, Gina ended up getting me a pair. I'm like, I can only wear these in the winter time. It, it's hard. And you might be able to relate with this. So, and we talk about this with age and everything. So in my mind, and me as a person, like I identify as a running shoe wearing guy. I yes. wear running shoes for every, like I have other shoes. Like if I need to dress up, I have my yes. shoes, but I just wear running shoes. So I did a couple years ago. Well, I guess with my board ape, I saw that Vans had a yacht club shoe and I thought, okay, this is cool. I'll get that. But I really don't wear them much. It's just like mm -hmm. a completely different style. I like them. I think they're cool. I have a couple other Vans like the Gary V ones and some other ones that I'll wear here and there. But I always go back to wearing my running shoes. Now, I do wear, if it's not wet out and it's winter time, I'll wear wrestling shoes just because nice. I like that. I like the the no sole and everything, just like the five fingers I used to wear. And of course, right. the summertime sandals and all that. But, you know, so we're talking about the boots and I'm like, I think I could wear boots in the winter time, like nice, you know, they're yeah. like Doc Martin, like just the nice sure looking boot. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Another New Year's thing, right? Wearing boots. Wearing boots. Exactly. <laughs> Different exactly. things you got to change for the New Year. So I don't know. Uh, I figured that'll be the theme today. I guess is like how we're prepping for the New Year, right? Yeah. You, well, I time, am. It'll be twenty twenty four. Yes, that's true. Yeah, because we'll record another one this week, unless right. we do. Like, I mean, unless we do. <laughs> but uh yeah i'm i'm doing a, I, I i've started gradually making some of the changes but i'm excited that we we i didn't order the the big calendar from jesse i did get a year calendar that's my first baby step yeah and i'm doing some of the things that he talks about so I'm, i am really excited about that actually and and it makes me think that i'll be more accountable to myself nice and I just like, like little little habits like at least 10 push-ups every day, which I don't do now. I do them randomly, but if it's like, okay, I have to do these, like it's it's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, I mean, maybe half a minute if I'm really tired and just whatever, but that's but that's nothing. And what what that that little step is it gonna do? Because you know, when I'm down there, I'm gonna do more than 10. Some days I'm, you know, I might do 20 or 30 or whatever, right? Whatever right. I'm feeling like. But if I'm the hat and that, but the habit is 10. Yes. So I have like a, a little little fitness things that I'm adding. I'm trying to add a couple little things to different aspects of my life. So well, exciting. and going along with that same idea, like one of the things that drives me crazy is like I did the hundred push up challenge thing, you mm -hmm. know, where you did a hundred push ups every day for a month. And you know, mm -hmm. it didn't it didn't like crush me or anything. Like I was able to handle it and do it pretty well. Mm -hmm. And like, there's a lot of times where I'll get on this kick where right before I get in the shower, I'll do like 25, 30 pushups. But then I get into streaks like I am right now, where I literally have the opportunity to do tons of pushups every day while I'm coaching. <laughs> wrestling. I do zero and I do zero in the morning and I don't do a hundred. And I'm just like, I'm like the laziest guy ever. <laughs> so I don't know. Sometimes you just need that. Sometimes you just need that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just is what it is. But I'm always like, oh, I'm such a slacker. I should be doing this or I should be going for a run. But then I'm like, yeah, I'm comfy. I'm comfy. Yeah. So well, especially because we're, we're all like, everything's ready. We're like, we're ready to move and all that. And once we move, like all my dynamics and my time, my time is going to change like what I have time for. You're going to so, save hours of your life. Yeah. So I've been, you know, Gina and I have been talking like, like figuring out my next step or like what I'm going to sell next and, and do, I'm like really excited to start researching it. Like I've been doing a little bit of research, but that's something that I'm really focusing on for 2024, not just well, going through the motions. 
if you need a Midwest branch of whatever you're going to do, I'm here for you. I'm here. Sweet. So sweet. Take it to the next so, level. Yeah. I had I had some or uh, the in law asked the other day. He was like, "Hey, are you guys like still mining and stuff?" I was like, "Yeah, the miners are like like they don't shut off. Like they they just mm -hmm. go." He's yeah. like, oh, well, he's like, I never hear about crypto in the news anymore. I didn't, like, know if that was, like, still a thing. And I'm like, I go, it's in the news, like, all the time, like, mm -hmm. constantly. <laughs> he's like, oh, wait, I never. Wait till next I, year. Your mailman will tell you to buy some Bitcoin. <laughs> he's like, oh, I don't hear about it, like, ever. And he goes, he goes, it's probably because it's on, like, your news feed. And I'm like, for sure, it's probably on my news feed. I go, but, like, there's a ton of stuff that just happened with it mm -hmm. i go as all the lawsuits are getting settled and all of that i go what's more likely is it's so commonplace now that it's a not worth reporting or b you're not paying attention like yeah. you're just like oh it's it's like when they talk about the stock market like most people mm -hmm. just tune that out i'm like you're mm -hmm. probably just tuning it out like mm -hmm. all the time so yeah but he's like oh i don't think so he was like, yeah, my financial advisor, I asked him, hey, should I be like buying in crypto and stuff? And he's like, no, no, you shouldn't. And I was like, oh, and he's like, so, you know, that kind of made me wonder. And I'm like, why would it make you wonder? You're like 86, 88 or I don't know, how old <laughs> you are, right? 79. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. like, you should not be buying crypto at this. Like, you shouldn't be buying stocks at this age. Like, everything yeah. should be coming back to you at this point. Yeah. Like, I'm like should have been set up long before now. Right. So, yeah, you shouldn't be buying crypto because you should just be living on everything you've already got. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, like, when you yes. hit that age, like, everything has mandatory withdrawals and stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't know why you'd buy crypto. Like That's funny. <laughs> we were talking, I don't know how it came up, but it came up where, like, oh, are you putting a, are you putting a stove in? And I was like, no, like we have our June, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I said, it's kind of like a giant, super fancy toaster oven, air fryer, everything like that. Yes. Like we have electric skillets and things like that. And I'd have to like all those spots that, uh, that a stove would go into, I'll have miners on them. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> I'm not going to unplug a miner so I can have a stove nope. with an oven. Like that's, that's not a priority. I can do everything I need to do with a few basic things. Well, and that's it. Like you don't, you don't need an oven and a big stove, mm -hmm. right? Like that's not something yeah. you need. Yeah, I mean, we'll use ours, but that's because it's there. If it wasn't there, we would yeah. do something else. So, yeah, exactly. Oh, speaking about doing something else today, Amy had to work today, and so she called and was like, "Hey, do you need anything on the way home?" I'm like, "I don't think so." And she's like, I "Just wondering if you guys want me to stop and get dinner or whatever." And I'm like, "Actually, I'd like Chick Fil A." And she's like, mm -hmm. you guys would? And I'm like, uh, everybody loves Chick-fil-A. Like, just get Chick-fil-A. That'd be terrific. <laughs> so she's like, okay, I'll grab some. What do you want? I'm like, just get a, like, a whole bunch of sandwiches. Uh -huh. Like, nobody cares. Well, go check. So I check, and she orders it, I guess. I'm like, I can order from the app. She's like, nope. I'm like, already in line. I'll be next. I'm like, okay. So I'll see you when you get home. So she gets home, and they gypped her out of a sandwich. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And like, I always have this thing and they get mad at me where as soon as I'm pulling out, I check everything mm -hmm. to see if I have everything. Cause fast food places mess that up all mm -hmm. the time. And she's like, well, I was by myself and I didn't want to check. I'm like, whatever, I'll just call them. So I called Chick-fil-A it was put on hold forever. It was like their main headquarters, I guess. Cause it wasn't mm -hmm. like the store. <laughs> and so I was on hold forever. And finally they answered. I'm like, yo, here's the deal. He's like, are you a rewards member? I'm like, yep. He goes, what's your email? And I'm like, here's my email. He's like, okay, I put it on your account. I'm like, it's on my account. He's like, yep. So just use that when you go next time. I'm like, uh, cool, thanks. <laughs> well, what about my kid that's starving? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Amy split hers mm -hmm. in half, and neither of them needed more than that. But okay. it actually saved us. But I was just laughing that it's like that quick. Yeah. No, and with I did all, like all the, with all the apps are pretty awesome. Yeah, really. Well, the, she got grumpy the other day because we were going to like McDonald's and like we're driving there, and I'm like, whoop! I'm like, here, order on the app. She's like, I hate ordering on the app. I'm like, I don't care. So she mm -hmm. orders on the app, and we pull through, 
Like I parked in the McDonald's parking lot while she finished her order because she doesn't use it as much as I do. And then she finished, mm-hmm. I pulled through. And she's like, I don't like that app. I'm like, how can you not? Like, that's so slick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Plus, we got discounts on everything. I'm like, that's just like the way. She goes, well, because you're always driving here. I'm like, I don't. Like, I, when I like leave to go eat, I'm like, yeah, hey, I'm going to go to McDonald's today. And I put it in as I'm going. Yeah. Like, at, right before I leave. I go, at the, and then at the stoplights, when you're stuck at the stoplights. Well, I do it before I even pull out of the parking lot. Oh, okay. But, you know, and then it's like way <laughs> faster. So mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, I can do it while I'm driving because then I just hit recent order go. Yeah, um, just click it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's funny like, the the Chick Fil A's are all independently owned. I mean, some of yeah. my own multiples, but especially around here, all of them that we hit are each have different owners, so your rewards don't work at all of them. Like we have a ton of points for this one, but not this one that we only go to sometimes. I don't even understand because it's like <laughs> it works everywhere. <laughs> It does work everywhere, but you don't collect points. The the points are collected at each location. No. That's what we've noticed. No way. Like, my thing right now says how many points I have, and I don't even have a location in there. Well, go to some random one. When you're on your road trip, go and try try to use those points. I will. Yeah, forget how we noticed, because we had a bunch of points. Mm-hmm. And the guy's like, "Oh, you have the, all this free stuff," but we had already ordered. We're like, "Don't worry about it. We'll just use it next time." And then we're at a different location, and we're like, "Okay, we want to use our points." And they're like, "You don't have any points." <laughs> like what? And then we're back at the other location. We got the free stuff. Like it doesn't make any sense because, like, right now it shows I have points. I'm just telling you. Okay, so give I me might a be place. Reme- I might be remembering. Give me, um, give me a place near you, and I'll see if I can type it in and do it. I'll just cancel it. So let me see. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, what do I want to do? Location. Okay. I'm going to choose North Carolina. Two count chicken and strips. If I do it, will it screw it up? Like I kind of don't want to screw it up. Let me see. I'll do this instead. (laughs) Pick up at restaurant. It wants me to choose my normal one. Near search by city, state, Dallas, Denver, North Carolina. Oh, sorry, Denver, there's, North Carolina. Yeah, there's that chick point in Dallas. There isn't? Nope. <clears throat> okay. So people were testing out the Chick-fil-A app here for you. Chick-fil-A, North Carolina, Denver, North Carolina. Okay. Start my order. This location's far away. <laughs> you want to continue? Yep, I do. Okay, I want to carry out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Superman? <laughs> and it's got all of my rewards here. Really? I don't know. Yep. Maybe maybe it that says, go ahead and click. Up then. Uh, it says click a reward that you want to cash in. <laughs> no, okay. I'm like, okay. So nope, I'm not gonna oh, order. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> I'm backing out. Well, I didn't actually finish the order, but I was at Dallas. And it had all my stuff. So <laughs> maybe there's a, maybe they messed up on their end. We just thought it was super strange. Like that's, that's super really strange. Weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, because like places like, like Burger King used to get mad because they wouldn't make any money on some of the corporate deals, but they had to do the corporate deals. Mm-hmm. And they were like, yeah, which probably why so many Burger Kings went out of business. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I do not. I know. think Burger King is a superior product over. McDonald's personally, but nobody ever goes there. With... Nope. nope. Like no, if I had I... a Big Mac or a Whopper sitting in front of me, I'd get the Whopper every time. I would not. But I don't ever. I don't go there. I don't ever go there either. <laughs> no, and I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't choose a Whopper over. I would choose the Impossible Whopper over other burgers. But if you laid a Whopper in front of me and a Big Mac. It would depend on the mood I was in because one has Thousand Island and one doesn't. No, it's a secret sauce, not Thousand Island. Sorry, secret sauce, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah. And I personally, my family mm-hmm. loves the McDoubles. So, 
It's hard to oh. beat a good McDouble. Oh, speak. Okay, I'm glad you brought this up. We have we, we're running short on time. Yeah, you so got the one next minute. time the next time you're doing a McBitchin, yes, you can order just a fillet at Chick Fil A with no sandwich, no bread, anything, just a fillet. Is it the same so price like as a sandwich? No, it's less than the sandwich. I don't know how much it is, but I do it at breakfast. I order a biscuit with a regular, and then I order like a spicy just filet, and I have like two open sandwiches. But yeah, you can just order the filet. So if you're if you want an awesome McBitchin, pick your favorite burger, and then just get a Chick Fil A filet. This sounds like something we're gonna have to try. Out. You're not gonna throw any bread out. You're gonna anything. have to drive to two different stores, but it might be worth it just to try. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Might it's be, not, might hey, be. It came up on my feed recently when we had when we had uh, the White Castle McBitchins. They're awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Love those, too. <laughs> Love them all. Love them all, people. Love it all. Well, speaking of, it's almost time. We're almost out of time. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for joining us on the Kilted Balls podcast. We love you guys. We're so glad you joined us, and we hope you have a great start to your new year. Ballbuster yeah. signing off. Kilted Dragon, Jerry. I love you all.